A new installation for three weeks in August has recently been unveiled at Reged. This is an exhibition that uh, we have been gathering information and history, historical artefacts, uh, and we have been putting this together about the last 18 months so that we can actually to show to as many people as possible um, the importance of the fell pony as being part of the heritage and cultural history of Cumbria. The exhibition has taken 18 months to organise but Libby's attachment to the ponies is much older. When I was seven and eight and living in the uh, Kentmere Valley I got to know the, the pony as the pony that was up on the fell and also being used, uh, still used, by some of the farmers. And I remember them doing that uh, in the late 1960s. Uh, then there's been a fell pony in my life from 1979 right up until today, where I have 15. The exhibition is comprised of many different aspects of the pony's importance in Cumbria, including pictures, artefacts and a film. In this room is a visual display in a small scale but trying to create the space that the ponies live in, their natural habitat and environment which they have been um, established for thousands, well, thousands of years. The uh, display has a number of artefacts. The film is a to show the ponies in their natural environment and to create an atmosphere again of the space. Then there are, are, there are wonderful pictures uh, of local artists and local photographers who have used the fell pony as a means of their inspiration. And there is an element of sustainability to this play which hopes people's awareness will be raised. The important statement from the exhibition is of course the fell pony and how important it is that it survives in Cumbria. It is only in small numbers, it is a rare breed. There is only about 6,500 in the world of registered purebred fell ponies. So the other important part and aspect of this is the hill, hill farmer, the hill breeder, about how they support the herds and how they look after them and all the expertise going back through generations. There are farmers in Cumbria that are still here with herds of ponies that can go back through five generations. The exhibition opening was attended by the Dunning family, famed for setting up the first family-run service station on UK motorways at T-Bay, focusing on local produce. It was a remarkable moment, actually. John Dunning came here with his daughter, Sarah, who now runs the organisation, and he produced this rather remarkable picture as a kind of surprise, which is all about uh, the fell pony history, really, of a, a picture of just before the war, the First World War, when all these ponies and horses were being sold to the war office for the war effort. You probably have heard of Michael Morpurgo's war horse and this is the same, in the same spirit. So there's a little echo, really, of this exhibition of, of, the, of the crisis um, that happened and then they had to rebuild and rebuild these herds and I must admit John was very optimistic it's very nice to have an optimist because he said look a young person on these Cumbrian fells could start a herd of ponies and make a living for themselves. The exhibition is open until the 22nd of August and it's hoped that the Cumbrian fell ponies will enjoy a deeper degree of respect once the display has finished. Kira McFadgen, That's TV.